This is Math 151, uh, Practice Exam 1, the assessment, and this is problem number 2. On this problem, we have this function, this piecewise function defined this way, calling it g. We're supposed to find a couple limits. Uh, the limit as x approaches negative 3 of this function, and the limit as, uh, as x approaches 2 of this function. And notice that uh, those are kind of the boundary points. Those are the points where conditions change. Um, and remember, in order for a limit to exist, if I, if I want some some limit of, of a function to exist, I have to get at it from both sides. In other words, if it exists, um, it's going to exist if both the left-hand side and the right-hand side function uh, limits exist. So if I get at it from the left and I get at it from the right, if those are the same as each other, then that's the limit. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to check this from both directions. So uh, the limit of g of x as x approaches negative 3 from the left. And that would be, um, that'd be this part right here when x is less than 3. So as I'm getting closer and closer to negative 3 from below, I'm getting closer and closer to wherever this evaluates to. So that would be the limit of this as x approaches negative 3 from the left. So let me try some direct substitution and see what that does for me. Uh, negative 3 squared is 9. 3 times 9 is 27. Um, this is square root of 36, which is 6. So as x approaches negative 3 from the left-hand side, this goes to 6. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check it from the right-hand side. As, uh, Negative 3 gets approached from the right of this function. And, um, oh. sorry, my pen's freaking out. And so as I get at it from the right, that is going to be, that's going to be this part right here. Because as I'm getting it from the right, x is greater than negative 3, so I'm headed towards this part. So, I'm just going to do some direct substitution, see what that does for me. I'm just going to plug in negative 3. So negative 3 squared uh, minus 3. Negative 3 squared is 9. 9 minus 3 is 6. So notice these both approach 6. It approaches 6 from the left and from the right. So this limit then, sorry, I'm going to erase that, is 6. All right, so far so good. Let me check the next one then. Uh, the limit as g approaches x uh, the limit is x approaches 2 of g of x. And again, I'm going to get it from the left and the right. So if I get at it from the left-hand side, that's the limit as x approaches 2 from below of this function. And that's here. x is less than 2, getting closer and closer to it from, from below. So I'll plug 2 into here. And I can just do direct substitution on this. Uh, 2 squared minus 3, 4 minus 3 is 1. So from the left-hand side, this approaches 1, and now if I get it from the right-hand side, that's going to be this part. When x is greater than 2, I'm getting it from the right. So, <laughs> uh, the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of this function. And again, I can just do direct substitution. Plug in 2. That's a 4. So notice these diverge. These go to different places. So this limit does not exist.